Hello. In this video, we we'll talk about reactions of alkanes. Alkanes are sometimes called paraffins. Paraffin comes from a Latin word, parum affinitis, which means low reactivity. Alkanes are not very reactive compounds. They can give reaction with just a few compounds at some specific conditions. Let's have a look at them. The first reaction that we are going to see is combustion reaction. As you remember from the previous courses, combustion is reaction with oxygen. If you have enough oxygen in the medium, a complete combustion reaction will take place. In that complete combustion reaction, we'll have two products, carbon dioxide and water. So, of course, we need to balance our reactions all the time. So we have three carbon atoms, I need to have three. Eight hydrogens in here, so I need to write here four. Four times two is eight. Then oxygens, I have 3 times 2, 6 oxygens, 4 times 1, 4 oxygens, in total it is 10, so I need to write here 5, 5 times 2, it is 10. This is my complete combustion reaction. However, if you don't have enough amount of oxygen in the medium, a second reaction may take place. In this second reaction, instead of carbon dioxide, we get another oxide of carbon, which is carbon monoxide. The second product is again the same, H2O. Let's balance it again. Three carbons, so I write here three. Eight hydrogens, so I write here four. Four times three is eight again. Then oxygens, I have three oxygens in here, four oxygens in here. So in total it is seven, so I write here seven over two. Second reaction is substitution reaction. If you remember from the previous videos, Substitution reactions were the reactions where we change the places of atoms or groups of atoms. Now in this reaction we have methane molecule reacting with chlorine. So in this reaction one of these hydrogens will be changing its place with one of these chlorines. So it's gonna give us CH. It was 4, 1 is gone, so it's CH3. So what came to the place of that? A chlorine atom. Then, the second compound, it was Cl2 at the beginning, one Cl is gone, so one Cl is left. And one hydrogen came here, so it's going to be HCl in here. But in here, if you have enough chlorines, these might give you a series of reactions. So what I mean is that, product of this reaction may give some further reaction with some more chlorine. Let's write it. So if you have CH3, Cl, this one. And if you have some more chlorines in the medium, again in the sunlight, you may have another substitution reaction. So one of these hydrogens substitute with one of these chlorines. So three hydrogens will change into two hydrogens. And I'll have two chlorines this time, plus another HCl. You can think this as the first step, this as the second step. As you see, we still have two hydrogens. If you have some more chlorines in here, it's possible to have a third and fourth step. And the last reaction that I'm going to show you is cracking reaction. In cracking reactions, an alkane, a big alkane molecule, breaks down to two simpler molecules, one of which is an alkane, second one is an alkene. Let's assume that we have this compound, decaying. If you heat it with proper catalysts, it's gonna decompose. When it decomposes, it gives you two compounds. One of them is C8, H18. Now, if you're given the starting compound and one of the products, actually you can get the formula of the second product. How? By checking the number of atoms. At the beginning I have 10 carbon atoms, here I have 8, so in the second product I need to have 2 carbon atoms. At the beginning I have 12, 22 hydrogens, here I have 18, so 4 are left, so the second product is C2H4. So this is an alkane with a single bond, this is an alkene with a double bond. That's all for this video, see you in the next one.